All right, now let's take a look at the basic theory of the command design pattern. First of all, a command is just a method wrapped in an object. And by doing so, it is possible to delay the execution of this method. And that's the primary goal of the command design pattern, most of the time anyways. Also, by doing so, it's uh, pretty easy to specify what needs to be done to undo this method. So uh, one of the, the easiest examples to, to get your head around the command design pattern is to just create a remappable input. And I've taken this screenshot from Destiny. And uh, as you know, most of the games uh, allow the player to remap their input. So this is what we're going to try to implement ourselves. So first of all, let's look at how this stuff is implemented if you hard code it. So I've just used uh, the button layout of an Xbox controller, but it, it works for any controller, you know. So I just said on the X button, uh, you shoot, on the Y button, you reload, on the B button, you melee, and on the A button, you jump. And if you code this, it would look something like this. So as you can see, I directly uh, connect the A button with the jump method. And the same goes for shooting, reloading and melee. And that's usually not a very good thing because if you're doing it right, you, you uh, insert a layer of abstraction between the input and the the, the the things that the game needs to do when the input comes. So that's where the command design pattern comes into play. Now let's look at how we can make this remappable by using the command design pattern. So first of all, instead of hardwiring the methods to the button press, instead of calling the method directly, we use um, a command object. And this command object uh, calls then uh, the method we want to use. So in this example, we have the X command object and it calls the method shoot. And if we have the Y command, we uh, call the command player.reload and the same goes for melee and jumping. Now, um, by doing so, we make, um, we, we, uh, we cut the hard wiring out and we make those commands interchangeable. And that's a good thing. So in the code, it would look something like this. And uh, the important thing you need to know here is that A command, X command, Y command and B command are just instance variables of the type command. And the concrete commands like uh, A command, X command, Y command, and B command uh, can then be easily reassigned. Uh, if you look at this code, you can see that the X command and the A command variable uh, is just assigned a new command. In this case, the jump command or the shoot command. And that's how you can easily change the, uh, the commands at runtime. So it's very easy to, to change the input mapping. But we're going to do an example to look at this more in depth than just this code. But as you can see, that way you just uh, switch the jump and the shoot command. Now, before we get into the implementation directly, let's summarize what we know so far. Instead of doing something immediately in the class itself, the command design pattern, we command another class to do something. And the good thing is that the input manager only knows that the X command needs to be executed. It has absolutely no idea what the X command actually is. It could be anything. It could be reloading, jumping, shooting, whatever. The input manager only knows that X was pressed and it sends this information to the program. And then something else needs to specify what happens when X was pressed. And that's this layer of abstraction. 
that I've been talking about earlier. I hope you learned something in this video and if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, you can ask them in the comment section below. Also, if you want to learn how to create a rewind slash undo mechanic with this design pattern, head over to my design patterns course over at Udemy. There I dive far deeper into the topic and give you access to top quality exercises. If that sounds interesting, make sure to follow the link in the description below. The first 100 subscribers get a discount on the course. Anyways, see you in the next video.